All right, my secondary math one class, we are going to be continuing to talk about area. Okay, so last time in class, we talked about area of rectangles and triangles. Okay, well, today we're going to be talking about the area of quadrilaterals. Okay, well, what is a quadrilateral? Okay, so a quadrilateral is basically any four-sided shape. Okay, so any shape that has four sides is a quadrilateral. Okay, so we're going to find out a few different types of quadrilaterals. You probably already know a couple. Okay, well, before we find the area of all of these shapes, let's go ahead and remind ourselves what area formulas we have learned. Okay, so last time we learned the area formula for a rectangle. Okay, we have length times width. Okay. Then we have our area of a triangle. Okay, and this is going to be one half times base times height. Okay, we're going to need a new area formula today. And this one is going to be area of a trapezoid. Okay, so the area of a trapezoid is going to be A plus B divided by two. Okay, so first we're gonna add A plus B divided by two. And then we're going to multiply by the height. Okay, our last one we want to write down, and this is basically the same as a rectangle, but we call this a parallelogram. Okay, this we just say base times height. And these guys, area of a rectangle and a parallelogram, they're basically the same thing. In fact, they are the same thing. One is just called length and base, the other is width and height, but they're the same thing. Okay, but those are all the area formulas we're going to be using today. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at number one. So we have a rectangle here, and we need to find the area of this rectangle. Okay, so we're gonna use our rectangle formula, length times width. So first I need to identify my length and my width. Okay, well my length, I'm gonna label as five. And my width is going to be nine. Okay, well now that I know my length and my width, I can go ahead and plug it into my area formula. Okay, the area of this, or excuse me, I almost said triangle. Rectangle equals length, which is five feet, times width, which is nine feet. Please include your units. Okay, it's super important and I'll show you why. Okay, so in order to find this, really simply, we just have to multiply five times nine. Okay, so we get area equals five times nine. That's going to give me 45. Okay, but now what's super important is we must include the units of measurement. Okay, imagine that you're an engineer and you're working this huge important project and if you mislabel something as centimeters when it was supposed to be miles, okay, that makes a huge difference. So we need to include the units. So we have feet times feet. Okay, and this is where our feet squared comes from. And there we go. Okay, let's look at number two. So let's identify our length and our width for number two. So I'm gonna make my 10 my length and 10.5 my width. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here. So I have my area equals my length, 10 centimeters, times my width, 10.5 centimeters. Whoops, that's a weird M. And now we can go ahead and multiply. So I have 10 times 10.5. I know we have a decimal here, so if you wanna use a calculator, you're more than welcome to. Okay, so I have 10 times 10.5, and I get 105. So the area of this rectangle is 105, but 105 what? What is the units of measurement? Centimeters, but because there's one, two being multiplied, it is centimeters squared. Okay, beautiful. Let's look at number three. Now I know we are talking mostly about quadrilaterals, but let's go ahead and review ourselves, or, or review area of triangles, okay? So we're gonna have to use our area of the triangle formula. Okay, so the first thing we need to identify is our base and our height. So what is my base of this triangle? 
Well, base, think like bottom of your triangle and height, how tall it is. So I know that my base is 10.2 yards. My height is 8.7 yards. Okay, so now I can plug this into my area formula. Okay, so the area of this triangle is one half. Okay, we must remember the one half times my base, which is 10.2 yards and times my height, which is 8.7 yards. Beautiful. Now, what numbers am I, or am I going to be punching into the calculator? One half times 10.2 times 8.7. Okay, remember one half in your calculator, we can just use a decimal as 0 0.5 or just 0.5. So one half or 0.5 times 10.2 times 8.7. And I get 44.37. So our area is 44.37. What? What's the unit of measurement? We have yards, but because there's two of them being multiplied, we get yards squared. Okay, awesome. Let's do that same thing for number four. Okay, so let's identify our base and our height. Okay, well this one's a little different. Okay, I know that seven isn't my height because that's not how tall it is. How tall it would be from right there to there. So my base for this guy is actually seven and my height is 3.8. Okay, it's almost like we took this and we went like that. Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and plug it into our formula. So we have area equals one half times my base, which is seven centimeters, times my height, 3.8 centimeters. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and plug this into our calculator. So we have one half times seven times 3.8. So 0.5 or one half times seven times 3.8 and I get 13.3. 13.3 what though? What is my units of measurement? Centimeters and centimeters, so centimeters squared. Beautiful. Okay, what is number five? Okay, so we learned a few area formulas. We have a rectangle, a triangle, a trapezoid, and a parallelogram. Okay, well I know it's not a parallelogram because these two lines are eventually going to cross up here. Okay, it's not a rectangle because we don't have all right angles, so it has to be a trapezoid. Okay, so let's remind ourselves what the formula for a trapezoid is. Okay, so the formula for a trapezoid, area of a trapezoid equals A plus B divided by two times the height. Okay, and you're gonna say, well, what is A and B? Okay, well, A is the short side and B is the long side of a trapezoid. Remember, there's always a short side and a long side. And height is how tall it is, which would be 10. Okay, so we have everything we need to plug into this formula. Now what we need to make sure of is using the order of operations to solve it correctly. Okay, so let's just go ahead and plug it in. So I have area equals, in parentheses, I have A plus B. So I'm going to do A, 3.1, pull inches, let's include inches, plus B, 10.3 inches. Okay, we're going to add those together and then we're going to divide it by two. Okay, and after that, we're going to multiply by our height, which is 10 inches. Okay, so what does PEMDAS tell us? In fact, let's make that note on our paper that we must use PEMDAS. Must use PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, the order of operations. Okay, so P comes first, so we're going to do the parentheses first. So we can go ahead and punch this into our calculator. So 
we have 3.1 plus 10.3. And that very first part inside my parentheses is 13.4. Okay, so now we have 13.4, so I'm going to actually rewrite this. 13.4 divided by 2 times 10. Oh, that was inches. Okay. Okay, so now I have division and I have multiplication. So here's what goes on with multiplication and division. We are going to solve it left to right as if we're reading it, okay, because these guys are equal, okay? Multiplication and division are equal, addition and subtraction are equal. So whenever you see that that's the only things that are happening, just solve it from left to right, just like you would read a sentence. Okay, so let's solve this piece right here. So we have our 13.4 divided by two. 13.4 divided by 2 is going to give me 6.7 inches. Okay, 6.7 inches times 10 inches. And what is going to be my area? 6.7 times 10, I get 67. 67 what? Remember, we have inches times inches, so inches squared. And there we go. That is our area for our trapezoid. Okay, well, let's try that again, because I know there are a few steps. Okay, so remember, we have our A plus B. Our A is our shorter side, our B is our longer side, and our height is how tall it is. Okay, so let's see. I have a longer side here, a shorter side here, and a height there. So my longer side is B, shorter side is A, and height is how tall it is. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in what we know to our formula. Area equals A plus B in the parentheses, 2.7 yards plus 6.9 yards. And that is all going to divide by two and then multiply by the height, which is six yards. Beautiful. Okay, so PEMDAS tells us we must use parentheses first. So let's figure out what that is in our parentheses. So I have 2.7 plus 6.9. So I get 9.6 on top. That little piece turned into 9.6 yards when we added them. Okay, so area equals 9.6 yards divided by two. And then we're gonna multiply it by six yards. Okay, so I have division and multiplication. Just solve it from left to right as if you're reading a sentence. So 9.6 <coughs> divided by two is gonna give me 4.8. So I get area equals 4.8 yards. That whole piece turned into that. And now we're gonna multiply it by six yards. 4.8 still in my calculator times six is gonna give me 28.8. Area equals 28.8 .8 what? What's my units? Yard times yard, so yard squared. Beautiful. Alrighty. Okay, so now in seven and eight, we have parallelograms. Okay, which means their lines are never going to cross. They're perfectly parallel. So remember how we talked about base times height is the same as length times width? It might just look a little different with a parallelogram, but they're basically the same. Okay, so let's look at seven. What is my base and what is my height? Because remember the area of a parallelogram is base times height. Okay, so what is my base and what is my height? Okay, well base, think bottom, so 5.8 is my base. That would mean that it is two feet high. Okay, so we have our area equals our base, 5.8 feet times our height, two feet. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply this together. 5.8 times two, see what we get, whoops. 5.8 times two, that's gonna give me 11.6. 11.6 what? What is my unit of measurement? Feet times feet, so feet squared. 
Beautiful. One more. For number eight, what is my base and what is my height? So I have a base, a bottom of 9.6 and a height of 6.2. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug it in. Area equals my base, 9.6 inches times my height, whoops, 6.2 inches. That's really ugly, oh well. And now we can go ahead and multiply it. So I have 9.6 times 6.2. 9.6 times 6.2 is 59.52. And what is my unit of measurements? Inches and inches, so inches squared. Beautiful. Those are your notes for today. There is an assignment that goes with it.